we've all had those days. A nice calming day at the beach, immediately ruined by seaweed. For whatever reason, nobody likes to be around seaweed at the beach. It's like they think seaweed's going to turn to some kind of monster or whatever this thing is. But that's definitely not the case with seaweed. But why? Why do we truly hate seaweed when it has so many beneficial factors? Red seaweed, a very common type of seaweed, contains compounds that are used in our everyday household products such as cosmetics. It can be found in our blush products, our lip products, and even our face washes. Red seaweed compounds also help stabilize foods such as milk or even ice cream. It can also be a nutritional part of your meal. Add some rotophyto goodness. Delicious! Although we find it inconvenient to find them on the beach, the fact of the matter is, the beach is their home, and they have to find ways to survive and thrive like we do in the world. Seaweed have these gas-filled structures known as bladders. These bladders allow the seaweed to float on the water surface. That way they're closer to the sun and could perform photosynthesis. Seaweed can also have these awesome flexible joints. Coralline algae is an example of a red algae who have this characteristic to minimize the damage of waves. Waves are a major limiting factor to seaweed, but they overcome it because they're just that awesome. Coralline algae is a unique and important part of the ocean. Their soil walls contain calcium carbonate that not only keep predators away, but also help build coral reefs. Coral reefs are very vital to the ocean and its organisms. Do you feel better about seaweed now? Oh my god. Can we get a decent take? Okay, okay, stop.